Our next speaker is Zhaofeng Ren. Um, he is a chief scientist at uh, IDSD and also the deputy dean. IDSD is the Institute of Data Science and Technology at uh, Alibaba. Uh, he was previously a senior principal scientist at Amazon Go, uh, before that at Intel Labs, and he has a PhD from UC Berkeley. He'll be talking about video understanding uh, at Alibaba. Please welcome Zhaofeng Ren. Thank you. Thank you, Vijay, for the introduction. It works. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, and it's an honor to be speaking here. Uh, my name is Xiaofeng, I, and I work at the uh, Institute of Data Science and Technologies, uh, or IDST, at Alibaba. Um, and it, it's, it's exciting to hear you know, about all the research and, and, and efforts that's going on at Google and Facebook. Um, and at, uh, at Alibaba, you know, we have some of the, the same problems that we need to solve, but we also sometimes have a different perspective or different problems we want to solve. Uh, at this point, uh, um, I, I think we have more problems than solutions. Uh, so I want to share some of these things with you, and hopefully you, know, you will also get interested in, in, in solving some of these problems uh, together with us. Um, so IDST is the uh, R&D division of Alibaba. We work closely with many of the businesses across the company. And, 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 and some of you know, you know the, uh, Alibaba is actually a very diverse uh, company that has lots of businesses. Uh, or some of you may, may just think you know, Alibaba could just be Taobao, which is the dominant e-commerce platform in China. And some of you, you may know about AliExpress, where you uh, can order things directly from China. But the company is really a lot more than that. Um, uh, over the past 18 years, Alibaba has built an uh, ecosystem uh, um, and with, with lots of companies that owns or, or partially owns uh, many different things. It, for example, it has uh, End Financial, which has the, uh, the most successful and popular mobile payment platform, Alipay. It has Cainiao, uh, which is the largest company. Uh, it has a digital entertainment branch, which includes Youku, uh, which is a video hosting and streaming site. Uh, and it has, for example, uh, Gauda Map or AMAP. Map, which is the top map company in China. So there's really a lot of things that are going uh, on, on across the company, and um, many of the, uh, these, you know, that's where uh, we, or, or I personally feel, uh, where computer vision technology, especially video technology, can help them improve or some, uh, sometimes make a big difference there. Um, of course, you know, there needs to be a, a, a coherent mission to tie all these things together. So I just put there, Alibaba's mission is to make it easy to do business everywhere. So we are primarily an enabler. We, 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 want, we want businesses, especially the small business, to succeed. And uh, we're, we're trying our best to do many things to, to help them succeed. Um, a business comes in many forms, and sometimes the, the acronyms can be confusing, uh, at least to me. You know, sometimes we talk about e-commerce, uh, and then sometimes we call it M-commerce, which is mobile commerce that has been very successful in China. And, uh, and, and something that's been talked about a lot recently is O-commerce, which is omni-channel commerce that combines you know, online and offline retails. Um, but in any case, you know, at, the, at, the, at, the, uh, at the core of things, we have people and uh, we have products. And what we do is that we want to somehow find the association between them to help the right people find and get the right products. Um, so obviously, you know, um, there's a lot of information that needs to, uh, uh, to be extracted to make it that effective. And uh, uh, for me, I like to think, you know, computer vision, uh, image and video analysis is more of the good ways to get there. Um, uh, as well, though, we have, we, have, we have been seeing, uh, you know, a series of transformations in terms of the carry of information. We start with text and we go from text to image and, and now this to video and arguably at some point we will also see a lot more interactive media. Uh, whether the underlying driving force is you know, advancing hardware or just the raw compute power or the, the wireless communication and, and networking, it's, it, all these things together, I think the trend uh, seems to be inevitable. Um, so what do we do there? Uh, and I want to show you an example, uh, a few examples. For example, Taobao is one of the core businesses of Alibaba. Alibaba. And in 2009, you know, the, uh, the interface of the website looked like this, which seems to be very old school. Uh, from today's point of view, you see a lot of text, uh, you see some groupings of text and categories. And today, it looks very different. Uh, one thing is that you know, it has primarily moved to uh, mobile devices. Uh, today, in China, most of the uh, uh, shopping uh, 
is done on, on, on the phone. It's no longer on the website. So as a result, even some of the, the, the features were only developed for mobile phones or, or primarily go into the mobile phones. So the interface today looks like this, and, and, and it's a lot more visual. You see a lot of pictures and everything on your, on your mobile phone when you go to Taobao. Um, so I want to digress first a little bit before I go into video. I want to tell you a little bit about what we have done about images, uh, just as a precursor. Um, and uh, these are the typical queries people would input into Taobao. Sorry, I try to see if I can translate this, or I even try Google Translate. I don't think it works. So let me just uh, put this text uh, there. So we have the queries, some of the words which even I don't understand, and then we have the products as described by some of the text and an image, and we want to find the mapping of these two. Um, uh, you can probably do pattern recognition to see that you know the green text, uh, the things that we can actually find. If you do text-to-text -text match, which is the basic thing we do uh, uh, when we do product search, you will find some matching. Ma some things are matched, and some of these things that don't. Uh, so what what do we do with these? It turns out you know a lot of information is contained uh, uh, in, in images. Uh, you know, we, 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 we can match some of the, uh, the, 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 the text or keywords to text, and we can match some of the others to the image. And together, they can help us you know, find more accurate matches, uh, 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 products that match the uh, description. So that, that turns out to be quite effective, especially for uh, long tail uh, 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 queries. And so we do some of the things that you, you might expect, you know, we do joint and text, text and image embedding. Uh, we also leverage user clicks in particular to try to learn the uh, same similarity between inquiries and descriptions. So that's been uh, working quite well. Uh, um, but we also have a, a quite successful product, which actually does image-to-image -image search. So if you go to Taobao, uh, some of you may have, uh, uh, you can see that there's a camera button. When you click that, you can take a picture, and it can automatically search for the product of your interest uh, and uh, out of uh, the huge database that Taobao has. So it's has been uh, actually quite very popular. We have over 3 billion of images, over 100 million products, and uh, lots of people use it daily. And uh, you know, sometimes it's really much easier to take a picture uh, than, uh, than, than try to describe that thing by words. Um, so, so, so we have done that for images, and, and, and the, the next way, we, which we try to look at videos, and it's, it's very clear that we're going to see, uh, we, we are seeing a lot and lo a more and more videos on, on top of people have been uploading videos. Uh, but they tend to actually be a little bit different in nature at the first glance. So some, the, here are some of the examples, uh, though the the sellers, uh, the, the videos, uh, they, they will upload these videos to the Taobao website. Uh, uh, they are very diverse, uh, but they, you know, uh, at the first glance, you can see there are promotional videos uh, that people try to um, you know, uh, 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 boost the image of the product. There are video guides on how you can use the product. Uh, sometimes there are documentaries on how it is made. Uh, uh, there, are, there are a lot of information in, in these type of videos. And, and, and what's more interesting is that uh, no, not uh, it, 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 many of these sellers they don't just play videos uh, on, 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 on the on the site. Uh, they, they, in addition to playing the video, they actually you know allow uh, uh, interaction. So these are uh, live streaming videos on Taobao, and uh, while you watch it, you can actually interact with the seller. You can ask questions. Um, you, know, you, you can you can try to find out more information about the product. Um, so, so, it, so the interactive aspect is quite important. To, uh, it's, we can see that you know, the conversion rates is much higher than normal, and people really tend to buy uh, the products uh, once they go into an interaction and engagement with the seller. Um, so these are the, uh, tend to be the professional made, made uh, videos that uh, you know, help uh, uh, boost the sales of products. But there are different type of videos on Taobao which tend to do uh, more similar things to images, which is describe the products. Uh, here are uh, two examples of the videos that I, uh, that I, that I found. Uh, this is on, uh, this is on Xian Yu, which is part of Taobao. It's a second-hand trading platform. Um, so instead of taking people taking pictures of the things they want to sell, they just take videos. And um, you know, when you think about it, it can, it can actually be a, a, a much more natural way if you want to capture the product. Uh, you take a video from different angles. You can talk while you you, fi you film the product, uh, and, and you can also interact uh, with the, uh, uh, the, the the products uh, uh, if that's necessary. Although 
Uh, I don't think it's necessary for the turtle. Uh, and so the, these videos really contain a lot of in uh, interesting information as uh, so more than the text descriptions. Um, so we're, we're, we're trying a number of things, uh, try to leverage the information from the videos. Some of the obvious things, you know, we're building tools to help people take better videos. Uh, uh, we're working on enhancements to, to improve the video quality or special effects. Uh, we do do uh, uh, content analysis. We try to tag, tag the video or detect objects in there, do localization and other things. Uh, we're also working on uh, trying to find a, a mapping or matching between video and text, much in the same way that we find the mapping between images and text. So we're trying to do that for the video as well. But I think there's probably a lot more information that, uh, that's still uh, in these videos that we don't yet um, uh, know uh, how to get them or how to use them. But in any case, uh, we are trying. Uh, this is one of the things that I like uh, working at Alibaba is, you know, we try a lot of things. Uh, uh, for example, in, uh, you know, uh, for AR and VR, uh, you know, this is from last year's Double Eleven, which is the so-called single day. Uh, it's the biggest shopping event, and, and you can call it the annual shopping celebration of the Chinese people. Um, so, so last year, you know, I, 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 was, I was quite impressed even when some of us were only talking about you know whether we should do, uh, do AR or VR shopping. They've probably done it. Uh, they, they've done you know, these kind of uh, uh, things that can bring a, you a VR experience uh, for, for Chinese people to go to US and shop for things. Uh, with how, how much useful that is, or how much big impact? That's hard to say. It certainly wasn't ready for prime time last year. But I was very happy to uh, to see that you know people really uh, try out new things. So a lot of these new things are happening quite fast uh, in China. Uh, so having talked about Taobao, I want to switch gear a little bit and talk about the Youku and Tudo, which are two uh, uh, YouTube-like websites, or at least initially. Uh, so these, these are uh, both of these companies founded about uh, uh, 10 years ago. They, they, they went through a, a number of transformations. They went IPO, they got merged, and they got acquired by Alibaba last year. So over the course of time, they have evolved uh, uh, quite a bit. So uh, even though they started initially like YouTube, they, they're not so much like YouTube anymore, and they're different in its own way. Um, Youku is, today is, is more like a video hosting and, and, deliv uh, and delivery uh, um, service, so it's, actually, it's closer to Netflix and Amazon Video, uh, although it still has a lot of user-shared uh, user content. Uh, it's quite popular. Uh, last time it was reported, it has uh, 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 30 million paid members, and, uh, about 400 million active users, and people spend a lot of time uh, on, 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 on their phone, on the, on the Yuku app. Uh, and it's, it's worth mentioning that Yuku is only one of the top three uh, um, video uh, apps or services in China, and the top three are quite competitive with, with each other. So we're trying our best to innovate and, and try to gain an edge. And so uh, we, we do some of the uh, uh, usual things. Uh, you know, we need to work on copyright detection, uh, protection. We need to work on thumbnail. We will work on content analysis and search and recommendation. Uh, uh, but today, I, I want to talk you about talk you, you about two of the commercialization efforts that we're do, that we're doing for uh, uh, for you, cool. um, And 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 as as you now know, you know, as impressive as uh, YouTube is, uh, it still uh, loses money, and that's a uh, that's a problem for all the uh, video websites uh, across the world. So uh, finding a way to commercialize this is something of uh, quite, quite interesting uh, you know, to the company. Um, so we're trying two things. One is, you know, as I mentioned to you, we have a good way of uh, a search for products based on images and extending that to video. So if you take any video on Youku uh, uh, and take any frame, it can contain a, a, a fair number of interesting objects in there. Um, we're on a, a semi-generic object detector. You can find the painting there. And if you care enough, you, know, you can actually find the painting uh, in this case, the top one is will be almost like an exact uh, a match to the things that you want. Um, you know, yeah, there are other objects in there. If you find the person in there, you can also find a dress that's quite similar. Uh, n n uh, 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 I probably wouldn't uh, uh, buy things this way, uh, but you know, uh, there are people who are certainly interested. And, and uh, as you can see, you know, this is not only uh, shows that we can understand these videos better, it also makes these videos uh, more interactive, uh, so to speak. So this is one of the things we're doing. Uh, and even uh, technically, uh, I also find it quite interesting. This is uh, you know, a, a large-scale uh, instance-based uh, recognition identification in uncontrolled videos. Uh, so it could be as simple 
as just running a detector plus the, the image-based uh, search engine, or it could be a, a lot more. Uh, we don't know yet. Um, but one of the good things is that you could provide a good platform for us to try things, so we can always you know, uh, put it online, try it out to see how much it helps, and, and get the user feedback and uh, get the behavior data to help us improve things. Uh, uh, the second thing that I want to mention is that, you know, product placement. Uh, this is also not a new idea. Uh, uh, many people have tried. What we want to do is that, you know, we want to insert uh, a, a, 3D, a virtual 3D object into these uh, videos. Um, this is a very interesting problem to me personally because it involves many things. If, uh, you know, we need to have a good three understanding of the uh, of the scenes. We need to uh, have stabilization so that things to move, don't move around. We need to have a good uh, lighting estimation. We need to have good material estimation, uh, uh, and, and there's also a decision making that needs to be done to find you know what are the proper places that, that uh, these things can be placed. Um, so this is this is uh, uh, um, this is still in the early stage. Uh, we have we have built a uh, in-house solution for scanning the 3D products, and we're still working on the video understanding part. Uh, sometimes it works, and sometimes we still have difficulties. So uh, for Tuto, it's a, it's a, it, it's actually different from Yuku. Uh, so what it's doing today is a focus on what's so-called uh, UPGC, uh, user and professional uh, professionally generated content. Uh, um, the the most uh, a common type is uh, these are these short videos uh, that, uh, that 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 are made. Uh, as you know, you know, short videos are getting very popular because they make. Uh, use of people's fragmented time, uh, but people want to use, uh, want to watch good shot videos. That's that's part of the things that uh, Tuto is trying to do, um, and, uh, and, uh, and we we were doing uh, some of the usual things, like copyright tools and search and recommendation. Um, Okay, so I'm running out of time. Uh, the things that I talked about mostly happen on the cloud, but I do want to very quickly mention that a lot of things that are actually also happening on the ground. Uh, uh, we have, uh, uh, the, so the company uh, owns, uh, partly owns China Logistics. Uh, it is a, uh, it, it a logistics company and it and, and is, is growing very fast and has a lot of challenging problems. For example, in W11, this estimate is that there's going to be uh, over one billion packages that needs to be delivered. Uh, uh, there are some of the usual th robotic side of things, like drones and, and, and picking robots, uh, but th there are um, uh, one interesting problem that they're working on that's probably more Im immediate and pertinent, to which, which is using computer vision to help people. So these are uh, cameras installed at the packing stations, and, and you know we want to uh, monitor the actions because sometimes people might do things wrong, they might forget to pack something, they might, um, they might not properly pack a box or didn't put in enough padding material. So what we want to do is that have a system that can actually help people, uh, which can directly uh, translate to a, in, into a better customer experience. So they, 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 they will more often than not to get the right things, they will not get things damaged. Uh, so, so this is quite, a, as you can see, a, a very challenging problem. There are a lot of variations into, uh, in terms of people's behavior, in terms of where things can go wrong, or in terms of the products that, that, that are being, they're being done. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stick the, 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 this part. This is the part that we, we work on the smart city and try to use computer vision to improve traffic. Uh, I'm going to skip to the end. Uh, so I've only uh, managed to give you a few examples of uh, what we are trying to do or what we want to do with video uh, in Alibaba. As I mentioned, you know, there are a lot of other things that are going on in the company. Uh, I want, want to uh, emphasize one last thing is that, you know, as IDST, we, uh, we, we work a lot with the different business unions across Alibaba, uh, but we're now we actually have a, a new mission. Uh, you, you, might, uh, you might have heard that uh, Jack Ma announced the launch of the uh, Damo Academy uh, very recently. And you know, Alibaba and, and him personally is putting a lot of uh, investment into R&D to solve the big problems, not just for the company, uh, but you know, ideally for the world. So, uh, so um, you're going to see us to put in more efforts into more the fundamental research. And uh, um, that's where we uh, look forward to working more closely with all of you to help us solve the big problems. Thank you.